Recently, I held a Q&A on my Instagram where I asked, what's something you feel you need any help or tips on inviters? And I got quite a few responses. Now, while I may have already answered them directly, I thought maybe these are some questions some of you may have had and possibly it's something that could help you if you came across it. This is something I want to do weekly, so if you're interested in getting your question answered, go ahead and follow me on Instagram so that when I do make the post, you'll have the opportunity to do so. And by all means, if there's something you want to elaborate on or give your own experience on in regards to any of the questions in this video, comment down below so that other people can get insight from more than one perspective. The more help, the better. So with that being said, let's get started with the first question. So hop in training mode, record the dummy to Dragon Rush, work on your timing when it comes to teching it, and see how it goes in live matches. I should probably take my own advice. Why can't Arc System Works fix the sh** netcode in fighters? I wanna know too. Trying out base Vegeta. Any advice? I would definitely say learn his key blast loops and make use of his key blast and knee dive for mix up shenanigans. What's a good method to train instant air dashes? Try doing single dashes on the ground first and then slowly start to jump and dash. I honestly think this is something that'll help build the speed you need, but don't overthink it and just do it. How do you deal with stagger pressure? How do I deal with stagger pressure? Well, I, <laughs> I get opened up. But I do know three things you need to know when dealing with it. Number one, patience. If you start pressing buttons or trying anything funny, that's exactly what they're fishing for so they can punish you. So take your time. Number two, know your opponent's block strings. If you don't know what's coming next, it's going to be extremely hard to make good calls. The more you play, the more characters you'll run into and the more block strings you'll get to see. Number three, don't give your opponent too much respect. Sometimes you'll have to say fuck it and challenge them. Stagger happy people can easily get caught off guard if you interrupt them. How do I perform assist extended combos? It's honestly just a timing thing. Get a feel for when you should call your assist during a combo, hop in the lab, try a basic combo into the assist, and then try more complicated things later once you get used to it. Did the viewers watching like the video and subscribe to Hey Jude yet? <laughs> How did that uh, get in there? <laughs> did you? How do I cross over in fighters? To perform a crossover, you're gonna want to make sure that your air dash is on point because this is primarily the method in which you'll be using it for. Instant air dash over your opponent's body and just as you cross over to the other side, you do a jump in which you can confirm into a block string or combo depending on if they blocked it or not. How do you guys come up with your own optimal combos besides the BNB combos? I can only speak for myself, but I primarily stick to BNBs and just call and assist for extended combos. The guys who lab brand new routes for characters, you're probably going to want to get a Twitter account to ask them directly. Should I be fishing for air to airs more neutral if I know my opponent is kind of jumpy? If you've got the read on them, then go for it. Depending on where people are on the screen and what resources they have can change the route I personally take. So take each situation on a case-by-case -case basis. How do I perform GT Goku Spirit Bomb Combo? I'm pretty sure the Spirit Bomb Combo only works in the corner, so just make sure you're aware of where you are on the screen first. And off of Vanish or Auto Combo, make sure you're doing his Reverse Kamehameha and the last hit sends the opponent upwards and diagonal. If you met those requirements, it should always hit. How do I deal with Teen Gohan? The three biggest issues to face against Gohan in my opinion are his legs because of the block pressure, his uppercut because of his invincibility, and his GPS tracking auto combo. Three tips would be to bait his uppercut if they're DP happy, avoid his legs at all cost, and I truthfully don't know what you can do about that dumbass auto combo, how to play at 10 frames lag. <laughs> How do you get out of Piccolo's loops? When timed properly, you're taking that mix, man. The only way to break free is to pop your sparking. Nothing to ask, but thanks for the tips you already posted. I appreciate it, bro. How do you instant air dash on D-pad? Practice. Find the correct team. 
I main Adult Gohan, Bardock, and Super Saiyan Goku. This is literally a great team, bro. Maybe switch out Goku for GT Goku if you want to be more oppressive. But it's already pretty damn good. How useful do you think the snapback is when they have no other characters? It's used for extending combos, so when in the corner, I would say it's pretty useful. How can I close the distance between me and my opponent? Patience, maneuver around their beams and assist, and try investing in a beam assist yourself. How do I improve my defense in general? Patience, try not to get anxious, and you can go into training mode and record a few block strings for the CPU, and you can honestly set them to random so that you can get used to being under pressure and blocking. Ban GT Goku? Delete him! No help needed, just wanna say I love your sh You guys are making me blush. Thank you. How do you re-jump? I've personally only done re-jumps with Janemba and Cell, so I can only speak on them. It primarily focuses on delaying your super dash with Cell and delaying your button inputs with Janemba. If you guys want a tutorial, drop a comment letting me know. How do you fuzzy? I am no expert on fuzzies, but I'm pretty sure people use a jumping normal on an opponent who's entered a crouching block, but they're still standing visually? I don't know the specifics and I don't want to misinform you, so I suggest researching into it or hopefully someone can go into detail down in the comments. Hint, I'm hinting at somebody to actually go into detail in the comments. Thank you. How can I get better at putting pressure on my opponent and get better at neutral in general? For pressure, learn block strings. So block strings are going to be your BNB for pressure. As for neutral, neutral in fighters is a lot of assist calls, beams, baiting super dash, air normals, and good old fashioned reads. So pretty much go crazy with it and learn what works through experience. How do you perform a guard cancel? When you're in blocking animation, press forward and the assist you want to come out Mind you, it does cost one bar of meter. After a wall bounce, how do I extend my combos? The most common follow-up for a wall bounce after a vanish or something is to dash forward and 2M, 5M into a standard air combo. What should I do to execute combos better? Hop in training mode and grind it out. Execution is just getting your fingers familiar with the sequence and timing. Practice until you aren't dropping your BNBs anymore. And that's a wrap for today, guys. Thanks to everyone who submitted their questions. Hopefully, this is something that was able to help you and those watching out. Let me know what you thought of the first episode of Hey Jude's Corner and any recommendation you may have down in the comment section. And remember, if you wanted to submit any questions or topics for discussion, follow me on Instagram. Once again, I'll pop my tag up on the screen to make it easier. Help your brother out. Leave a like. It really does help the channel grow and get exposure. So it really does mean a lot when you guys do like, comment, share, etc. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on any of the content I've got coming up real soon. Once again, thank you guys for rocking with me. And until next time, Space Cowboys.